I am Dr. Kiran Kumar K, Consultant Psychiatrist and Director of the Nirvana Center at Marathalli, Bangalore. COVID-19 has brought in a paradigm shift in the way we think, in the way we act, in the way we feel. In children, digital learning has become the new norm. So is their exposure to screen time, which has become a new normalcy. What is that new normalcy? Be it excessive spending of screen time on gadgets like smartphones, like tablets, like smart TVs are all become normal. And we as parents are getting perturbed and we are not able to find out where to draw a line. Probably this video is much more for parents than for the child himself. So what is the role of the parent? Parents, please understand that the pandemic is a temporary one. It is going to end. Certain amount of flexibility is definitely required. We need to understand what is the type of usage of screen time by the child? Is it an active usage? Is it a passive usage? So what is active usage? Active usage can be for digital learning, for socialization, for interaction, which is advisable in times of pandemic when we are encouraging physical distancing and social isolation has become a phenomenon. What is passive screen time? Passive screen time is binging on certain episodes, be it Netflix, be it Amazon or unnecessary browsing or unnecessary chatting on social media which has to be curbed. How do we go about in drawing this line? Probably the parents need to be aware that they have to be the role models. The children imbibes by seeing their parents. So we have to have certain structuring for screen time that certain place, certain situations we cannot use screen time. The children should be used or should be encouraged to use and get accustomed in other daily household chores, be it helping out the parents, be it in cleaning, be it in cleaning their own rooms or playing with the social distancing norms that is prevalent. Whenever the parent observes certain behaviors in child, when the child has become irritable, the child has become moody, the child is napping out, the child is having dryness of eyes, the child is not sleeping and eating adequately, probably there are indicators that the screen time is getting excessive. Certain other ill effects of excessive exposure to internet in the form of cyberbullying, exposure to sexual content, exposure to violence have all to be discussed with age appropriate indications to the children, otherwise they might land up in problem. So screen time has become a necessary evil. Previously, American Pediatric Society said that the maximum screen time advisable was around 60 minutes. Now probably that has become obsolete because children are using anywhere between 9 to 15 hours on screen time. So a proper structuring, a proper modeling, having certain smart TVs or gadgets in a common place for passive screen viewing is very very important and we have to probably get accustomed to this new normal rather than being very very rigid we need to be flexible as parents. Thank you very much.